Philadelphia. Philadelphia. There was one person shot and killed in a quadruple shooting um, in Philadelphia. One teen is critically, critically injured. Let's tune into the video, y'all. First tonight, breaking news from Southwest Philadelphia, deadly quadruple shooting on the front porch of a home. Three of the victims, just teenagers. This is the 10 o'clock news. I'm Jennifer Lee. Let's get right out to our Alex George with the latest details. Alex, what do we know tonight? Jennifer, we know this shooting happened just around 6.30 this evening, but we also know that authorities are... Let me just give a quick shout out to the people in the chat. Shout out to Scrim. Shout out to Sword of the Spirit. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you. Thank you. Love you guys. Thank you. Still looking to find a motive. There were several people that were shot by gunfire. It's unclear who, if any of the gunshot victims were actually individuals who were shooters themselves. That's still under investigation at this time. On the 1000 block of South 51st Street, early this evening, gunfire sounded off through the neighborhood. There were four total gunshot victims that we know of at this point, and uh, one of them was pronounced at 655 at Presbyterian Hospital. Police say two parties were shooting at each other from across the street and that there were 26 shell casings found. Based on the information that we have thus far, no one inside the home was shot. However, given the crossfire, several homes on both sides of the block were, were struck by gunfire, as were several parked cars. The victims were one 16-year-old boy, one 17-year-old boy, one 18-year-old boy who passed away, and one 22-year-old. That 17-year-old is still fighting for his life. A I know y'all heard that. I know y'all heard that. That's very, very unfortunate. More teen violence going on in Philadelphia. More teen violence going on. And they was wondering why I said ski masks are trash. And I was so thankful that they banned ski masks in, in, Cal in, uh, sorry, in Philadelphia. This whole generation is messed up, man. It's, it's a messed up situation in Philadelphia and a lot of these urban places like Chicago, California, even Boston. Sometimes we got it bad. But there's, there's something out there that these people is dealing with spiritually that they just cannot, cannot get out of, man. But... Let me know how you guys feel about this down in the chat below, man. This is this is unfortunate. Teen violence again. 17-year-old male was shot four times. He was rushed to Presbyterian Hospital where he's currently listed in critical uh, but stable condition. Onlookers say there might have been some kind of family gathering or celebration at the house before the shooting happened. It does appear that there was a family gathering. To what degree that attracted... Um, what led to the shooting, it's unclear at this time. That's still under investigation. But one of the homes on the block, uh, there were a large number of people inside the home. Man, sort of the spirit just said, this is, this is supposed to be the city of brotherly love. The city of brotherly love right here. It's sad, y'all. It's so, so sad, man. I can't believe this is really out here happening in these streets. Every single day, every other day, it's like we hear it on replay. A teen shot here, teen shot there, multiple teen shot, teen shot at school. When is it going to stop, man? When are the parents going to say, you know what? We've done a bad job. We better, we've done a bad job of raising our kids the right way. We need help. We need help. We need help. We need to put these people where they need to be. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. And I, I'm not saying this is going to be happening to all these kids in Philadelphia. Obviously, not every single person is is a criminal. But for those that are criminals, they need they need they need justice, man. They need to be served what they need to be served, unfortunately. And we got to clean up the streets in Philadelphia. This is unfortunate. If if you guys can't if you guys can't walk around without a ski mask, and y'all are teenagers, young teenagers, and y'all think that is that that is a cool environment to live in, you guys are misunderstood. Unfortunately, y'all are misunderstood. This is not going to end well. This is not going to end well. What up in the chat, American working man? What up? Philadelphia police say all of these shots were fired outside.
outside of that home from across the street, two parties shooting at each other. They did say that 20 casings were found on one side of the street and five or six on the other side. When we asked if that showed what party started this shootout, they said that is still under investigation. Now, Jennifer, the victims were taken to different hospitals across the city, some by private vehicles, some by ambulance. But what we do know right now is that that 17-year-old boy, as we said in the story, is still in critical condition. Yeah, a lot of prayer is going out to him tonight. Thank you. Absolutely, man. A lot of prayers going out to these people, man. A lot of prayers going out to these people. All those that lost their loved ones to this nonsense, this demon mentality, this, this. All prayers to them, man. We praying that they get justice. We praying that they get peace. And we praying that they get rid of all these violent violent criminals violent people that is out there on the streets man this is sad man let me know how you guys feel about this down in the comments below i'd really like to know y'all thoughts man